Hello, hello and welcome. It is Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast here in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a magical mystery tour. A magical mystery pour. <laughs> it's all right, just being silly. I'm going back to my bright and vibrant, just what I love. Um, I'll explain it as I go along. But I just want you guys to take a seat, sit and relax, pause me and go and get a cuppa or whatever your beverage of choice is and come along with me on this magical mystery pour. So, so, I have mixed these particular paints up with the recipe that I'll put a link in the very first comment pinned at the bottom of this video. Um, it's got no silicone in it in the um, particular pouring medium so I won't have any problem when it comes to um, sealing my work because there'll be no silicone if I decide to put any um, resin on it but anyway without further ado we will move along oh I did just want to show you I did this beautiful pour the other day um, with the um, oh, primary elements pigments absolutely stunning dried really sheeny shiny but as you can see got all this crazing and I used um, a home brand made paint from the local Bunnings hardware store here in Australia called Spring and it's just basically a cheap paint for the base to put the ele primary elements on and this has made the whole painting crack um, even like even like gone cracky on the canvas at the back which is weird but I mean my husband said that looks super cool you know you should keep it because those cracks look absolutely it kind of looks like a butterfly wing so I am going to keep it. There you go. Not sure whether I'll put any resin on it, but um, that's what happened through using the cheap um, house paint underneath. It did not work well, but the colours are absolutely stunning. Okay, get on with it. Get on with it, she says. They said, rightio. So we're into the real uh, red, cool red to start with so I'm gonna try to um, have a little bit a little bit she says of negative space in this one so just relax and enjoy and then hopefully it gives you some inspiration to get into your art room and have a little pour this afternoon or this morning or whatever time it is when you're watching this video hope that it inspires you to go and do something creative that's what I'd like it to be able to do. Inspire. Inspire, uplift, whatever it makes you do. Hope it's something positive. So, ka bright colours. Kaboom, that's just bright yellow. Love it. I just looked back on some of my old really bright paintings with my kisses and... Uh, yeah, balloon kisses and I just thought oh I need to get back to that as well because that's what I love doing I love doing everything I do in my art room I really do but um, I love doing those kind of pours so you'll kind of see the reason why I'm putting this color up here in a little minute so that was turquoise so I'm going in for the uh, it's just called green, bright green. It's like a, a candy apple green, I suppose. I suppose this would have looked nice as well doing it the other way. So I've got all the colours at the bottom. But you know, you just um, just go with the flow. This is my home uh, custom-made 
very delicious. I use this one actually had magenta to start with, a blob of phalo blue and a blob of black and it makes this gorgeous uh, like black cherry which is very nice I like it just trying to think what color I should swipe with but would have liked a navy but um i haven't got one mixed up believe it or not okay, i'm gonna put some white in this now i'm gonna pour white on the top and I'm going to spread this white. So, a little spreader. Where's it gone? I like. I do like these. Are um, icing, uh, icing. You know, to do cakes with spreading icing. So it was just from the kitchen department. But what I like about them, and I wish they'd done smaller tools. It's this angle. The angle that it's on is really good for us as pourers because even if it was on a steeper angle would be better to spread the paint without something flat. So and I've got some colour picked up from somewhere there because I've got the colour on my... Yeah. yeah, so I wish they made these in different um, sizes for <laughs> particularly for us pour painting... Uh, fluid art painters because they really are the perfect angle we're spreading and doing different things with so won't worry about my very edges at this point in time okay. put a bit more on there It kind of um, fluid, fluid acrylics. It, it very much self levels when you're finished, and you think it looks oh, it looks a bit lumpy. As it dries, it actually does self level, so um, not to worry about it. Just want to do a little teeny weeny blow of some of the paint upwards onto the negative space. So I do want a bit of fair bit of. Um, colour there I mean you know uh, paint to make it flow over but before I actually do that I'm going to tilt this about so I get the whole canvas covered in my colours just nice and gently just take your time and just relax about it certainly want to thank all you guys that have newly subscribed to my channel and of course my faithfuls that have subscribed a while ago and that stick with me every single video they must have the notification bell on so if you remember and you want to not miss a video please have the notification bell on I'm liking this already it's very I haven't done one like this for quite a while now, so I'll just check, see you're all still in the frame. This, this is quite a long canvas, it's, uh, I think it's 65, I believe, um, long. Now, I'm just trying to work out, yeah, I will swipe down and along, but first of all, I'm going to give this a little blow up, so to soften the edges up into the white. So, I'm using my heat gun, but maybe I'll have to change over to my blower. I'm just going to... No, I'm going to change over to my little mini blower. Or I could... Actually, I could try with the straw first of all. I'll try with my... It's just a stainless steel straw with the uh, silicone end. Ooh, 
something come out of me. <laughs> oh, God. That's strange. That's a little... Um, it looks like a little screw. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Already I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I think I'm going to swipe down the whole Duvalaki with white. Let's just see how we go. Might start from there and go downwards. Maybe I will use my Swifty Swipe. Mind you, that's a little bit bent, isn't it, today? I'll have to bend it back and see if I can do this with my Swifty Swipe. Again, the little tool, which is a, I don't know, palette knife thing. Um, it's got that angle on it and it's so good for working with the uh, fluid acrylics, I find. That is a little bit bent, so I'm going to have to bend it back. Let's just give this a go. Sending it real dark. Ooh. I might go back the other way. Where's my white? Hoping that all those gorgeous colours will come from underneath. Create something even more stunning. So, this is my little homemade Swifty Swipe. I have got a video in my playlist of making of this Swifty Swipe. Oh, what you doing? Go back, start again. Not pressing hard enough. Ooh, this is a long journey back down the other end. <laughs> Where's the white? Look at this lacing. It is stupendous. Stupendous. Wowzers trousers. Oh, look at the lacing. It's coming up. It's slow but sure. It's coming up. Loving this, loving my little flower bed here, my little spring loveliness. Wowzers. bring my video down um, I have, of course I haven't finished with it but I just want to show you this absolutely awesome awesome lacing in this it is gorgeous even in the flowers which I guess that you don't usually see when uh, I've got the camera up on the tripod can't see this detail in it there's some more loads of lacing, load, load, load. There you go. Wow, let's look at that one. That is so gorgeous, so gorgeous. This, what's happening in here? Beautiful. I'll just move along now. Sorry about that little wobble there. I um, took my camera down so I could get close up for you, which you will have seen by now. But I'm just going to um, 
oh, run some of the paint downwards. I can't. Oh, it's stuck in. Come on, guys. Behave. Okay. Okay, and I am going to get the gorgeous kisser. I've got my kisser. This is a balloon that's been blown up a couple of weeks and it's got a real odd shape, but you know, who cares? Odd shape, it, it'll do the same thing. It's nice and soft, so put your belly, the belly button of the balloon in your fingers there. It just gives you better control. If it's nice and soft, it gives you better control to do your squidgly bits on. If the paint is too runny, I'm going to, well, yeah, probably need to leave it and come back. But I do want to oh, look at that. See if I can do. No, the paint's too. It needs to dry off a bit. See when it's too um, falls back in over itself, then you need to give it some time to absorb into the canvas. She says, but she still goes on and does it. I don't want to really go over this gorgeous lacing because that's just just stunning all on its own you can sort of work the canvas if you keep going back into the areas that are falling in uh, in between wiping your balloon so I might just press in the white there oh yes look at that see if I can get now this paint at the top is there's too much there to actually do anything just yet so I'm going to leave it to dry off a little bit and then I'm going to come back and um, give it give it the uh, kiss of life I'm back I've only left it maybe 15 minutes I didn't want to leave it much longer because it's a very warm day here in Australia at the moment so I'm going to go ahead and as you see I've already given it Okay, let me rehash what I've already done. I have already used this, the just a bamboo skewer to do some little lines, which are sort of an abstract stem, I suppose. And then I already dipped this bigger balloon that I just blew up. I blowed up. Is it blowed up, blew up, or blown? Who knows? Um, and I dipped it in, dipped it in, and I did that. So I will dip back in the same spot again because there's still a lot of paint there. And I'll do the bigger. Well, that didn't work, but I'll try it again. Oh, it transferred some white onto there, which is quite nice. Um, I will push it in here. It's got some nice colours on it. Woo! Wowzers, trousers. And you can dip it and make your flower garden. So I want to go in this darker, oh, darker bits. Bring this back. And then it puts a bit more white into there, which is lacing up beautifully. Um, I'll go back in here and. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Now, I probably don't need any more big balloon flowers, but um, I've got all size balloons here. So you can go back in smaller balloons to put in on your lower stems, which kind of look a bit like fairies and fireflies. Just put them in on your stems. Pretty, pretty things, pretty things. Well, I think that's very nice as it is. Oh, I also did a bit of balloon rolling on the bottom. So it kind of looks like there's some more little stems, little flowers shooting up from the bottom. So they're just 
put it putting your balloon in and basically rolling it with a flick of the wrist and it's brought up all those lovely colours that are underneath there hiding. I will turn it around and then we'll wheel, wheel, we will be done with this magical mystery pour. Oh, now I'm going to get paint all over my dress but never mind it's a paint dress as is everyone in my wardrobe. I think when this bit dries a bit further I will come back in and give some more balloon work because I don't actually like actually this kind of does look cool it's like a hazy effect and I've got all this gorgeous lacing here which is stupendous I love that that is bright and uplifting you know everybody needs a bit of bright and uplifting in their lives and that is just gorgeous I love it and I will definitely do that again so let me know what you think guys um, wait on for the dry photos it is oh it's just a, a lovely 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 even if I do say so myself hope that you enjoyed that I'll be back again with a video again tomorrow as I do every day a video for you every day um, so please join me and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so it's appreciated and it helps all us youtubers if you do subscribe like and comment it helps everybody to keep their um, content coming to you so thank you again people I enjoyed your company so until tomorrow bye for now